All right, we're gonna continue on learning different IAC tools for uh, S3. And this time I wanna look at Pulumi. So Pulumi is an IAC tool. It's different in that it allows you to use any programming language you like. I say that with a big asterisk because it does not have it in Ruby. So for me, it's shameful, but that's okay. There's still a lot of languages. Um, so it's like CDK in that regards, but the other part of it is that it works across the cloud. So it's gonna be like Terraform in that sense. So if you are looking for that kind of combination, that is their offering. I believe they also um, host their state files in, in their platform. So that's probably how they monetize, just like how Terraform would do that. But let's go ahead over to the documentation and get rolling here. So we have uh, some options. We're gonna go to AWS. Now it has the install and config guides, but it doesn't really uh, tell you exactly here uh, how to install, at least I didn't see it, because um, there is the Pulumi, uh, what we call this, the Pulumi uh, CLI tool. And for some reason it's kind of skipped over here, at least I don't see it. So that's okay, I know another place where we can grab it. So I'm gonna go over to the how-to guides. And from here, I think we go to static website hosting, we should have those instructions somewhere here, or maybe it's install, <laughs> it's somewhere, I know it's somewhere here. Mm. Yeah, I'm not finding it, but we'll go ahead and just type in Plumi uh, CLI install brew, because I know that's how it gets installed. Mm, I mean, there's a, a single line script, I suppose we can use it. Again, I'm just hoping for the uh, brew install, I, I mean, if we're using Linux, we can use the single line command, I suppose that's what we can utilize here. I think that you can install it either way because I tested both and it worked. But what I'm gonna do is go over to the repo that we've been using uh, thus far. So that one is called um, AWS Examples. And normally I would launch this up in Gitpod. However, when I was uh, testing this out, I ran into an issue where this particular Python library just refused to install and um, I narrowed it down specifically to uh, the distribution that um, Gitpod is using. So uh, in this case, we're actually gonna use GitHub code spaces. So what I'm gonna do here is go to code and I'm going to uh, go ahead. Apparently I already have one running, so I'm just gonna delete this one. I wanna just make it very clear that uh, GitHub code spaces is different from Gitpod in that you have to really make sure you shut these things down. Um, I mean, of course with Gitpod as well, but the other thing is that when you launch up a GitHub code spaces, it's always launching up the last environment you had, whereas Gitpod um, it, uh, usually tears everything down. So just understand that the environment, the way they run is different, but what we'll do is go ahead and create a new code space on this repo. Of course, use whatever uh, uh, cloud developer environment or local environment that you want to use, but you might run into issues. And in particular with this one, you could really run an issue. So, you know, if it's working for code spaces for me, you might as well give it a go. A good cloud engineer is comfortable using any kind of uh, CDE. So, um, you know, using a mix and match is not a bad idea. So when it first launches up, I don't have a theme. So I really want to change that. Otherwise my eyes are going to cry. So we'll go here and whoops, we'll bring that back over to here and we'll switch this over to GitHub dark. So that is a little bit nicer there. And what I wanna do is go here on the left-hand side into IAC, we'll make a new folder here called Pulumi. So Pulumi, there we go. And I'm gonna to wanna to CD into that directory. Great, and now let's go ahead and do that single one line install. So we'll go ahead and copy that. And we'll say allow, and we'll see how that goes. We'll just give it a moment, there we go. And now that that's now installed, we can go ahead and use the CLI. So I'm gonna type in Plumi. I always wanna put an N there, but there, it's not. And maybe I'll bump up the font here. It is a little bit small over here on the defaults. So let's just bump that up real quick here. We'll bring this up to 18 and we'll bring the terminal size up to Something more reasonable. There we go. So we'll bring this up to 18 as well. There we go. I think that's much better. Um, and so if we hit enter, we should get all the commands, assuming we typed Plumi, correct? Enter. Mm, says it's not installed. So I'm, oh, please restart your shell or add it to 
here. Um, okay, so I'm just going to restart the shell. When I used brew, I didn't have to do this, so yeah, I guess it's slightly different. So what I'm just trying to do is rerun bash profile. This should be at uh, period bash profile. Maybe bash RC will do it. Let's try this again. There we go. So I just refreshed it. There's lots of ways of refreshing, but uh, I found with, um, again, brew, you didn't have to do that. So let's go take a look here. We have a bunch of commands. And what we're going to want to do is create a new Pulumi project. So we'll go ahead and type in Pulumi new. And actually, before we do that, we can give it a flag called L. And I think this will list out all the flags for uh, possible templates. So they have a lot of stuff here. And we're working with AWS and Python. So they have here a minimal Python uh, program that we can uh, utilize. And the way we do that is we provide the third parameter as the template that we want to use. We'll go ahead and hit enter. And right away, it wants us to log into Pulumi. Uh, with Terraform Cloud, of course, in Terraform, you do not necessarily have to create an account right off the bat. You might not have to do that with Pulumi, but I sure as heck don't know how to do that. But we'll go here. I'm going to sign in with GitHub. It'll just create me an account really quick. And you can see I actually just created a token here a moment ago, but I'll go ahead and create a new token. And we'll just say um, uh, Pulumi uh, SDK S3 simple. So we know what this token is for. I'll end up rotating this out. I know you can see it and you should not see my <laughs> token, but don't worry, I'll get rid of it and it'll be less of an issue. We'll go back over to here and paste it in and hit enter. Now there's probably like an environment variable that we can set. I don't know what that is at this point, but that's okay. And we're gonna have a project name. So I'm gonna call this S3 Simple SDK. And I'll just say a Python project for AWS S3 to simply create a bucket. We don't have to go too complicated here. The stack name will be dev, we'll keep that the same. Uh, the region, we'll stick with US East 1, just make our lives really easy here. I don't want to make things too complicated. And it's just going to create a virtual environment. So it is installing um, underneath, because I was doing this earlier, it's actually installing this uh, Python library, so uh, Pulumi AWS. So we'll just wait for that to install. Shouldn't take too long. And... Almost done there. There we go. So now that is working. So this is to perform an initial deployment, run Pulumi up. Now just, I wanna point out when you do that Pulumi command, that Pulumi new, make sure you are in your destination folder or it will complain. But let's take a look at what it's generated out. So we have our main pi file and look at that. It already is specifying a bucket now. This is for creating, yep, this creates an AWS bucket. That's exactly what we want. So they've already uh, made the work really easy for us here. It's also generated out a virtual environment uh, for Python, so we have that. We have a, a Pulumi uh, YAML file over here for its configuration. We have a requirements TXT for Python to say we're including that Pulumi AWS and also Pulumi up here as well. We also have a YAML file for uh, development configuration. So I'm assuming this would be uh, the generic one, and then we might have uh, development and prod and other different kinds of environments or workspaces uh, that you would have there. So now that that is there, I suppose we could do a Pulumi up. We already have our environment variables configured, so I believe that Pulumi will um, pick up on those because we can see that it's talking about getting these set. So I think that it will already uh, clue into those things. So let's go ahead and just write Pulumi up. And so we can view this in the browser. It looks like it's pulled out my, uh, <laughs> my, my GitHub handle there. But I'm just going to go ahead and click through on that. We'll hit open. And so here is making an attempt to deploy. We have a failure. It says, unable to validate the AWS credentials. So normally, if these things fail, um, it's because this doesn't have credentials. So we have credentials locally, but we don't have credentials on here. That's my guess. Sometimes the credentials, it depends on like who is the agent that is deploying. So if the agent is deploying here, that could be the issue. But I'm thinking the reason why is that we need to set those up in uh, Pulumi. So make sure you have your region set. That's not our issue. Uh, you can use Pulumi Escape to uh, set up dynamic credentials with AWS OCID. 
that sounds great, but I think really what I wanna do is just go and configure this on the platform. So that's probably what our problem is. So we have our uh, stacks over here, and this was one I made just a moment ago. I never did anything with it. I'm not sure how we delete stacks. Let's go in here. How do I delete you? Um, I'm not sure, but we can come back to that in just a moment. Okay, so I'll click into this stack here. So somewhere there's something that we can configure. It's pretty common for most. We do have environment variables. This is environments, I'm assuming. No, that's not environment variables, that's environments. So let me just take a moment here to figure out where we need to configure this. I'm sure it's not too complicated. All right, so I'm thinking about it and I, I think I know why I'm having an issue and uh, it should be really obvious. It's because I don't have credentials set up on this code spaces environment because I'm used to having them in my Git pod. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna launch up uh, this in Git pod <laughs> and bring over my uh, credentials. Or I suppose I could just rotate out new credentials. That's probably a better idea. So I'm gonna make my way over to AWS and we're gonna go over to IAM. It's probably a good idea to rotate them anyway, so. And we'll go over to uh, AWS examples and I'm gonna go to security credentials and we are going to go ahead and, well, let's create another access key. No, actually, you know, I'm gonna rotate out the other one. That's what I wanna do here today. So I'm gonna go and just delete this one, deactivate and delete out our old key here. And then from here, we'll create a new access key. So let's say command line interface. Yes, yes, yes. I know how to use uh, these keys. And so I have my keys here. What I need to do is set this up in um, uh, GitHub code spaces. I've only done this a few times, but uh, I think they call it secrets. Yeah, they say code spaces manage user secrets. So I'll click on that. And you'll see that uh, it's showing that I have some AWS credentials here, but I'm gonna go to manage on GitHub. So this is a lot easier. And so these are, um, these are fine, but these are for a particular repository. So these can be tied to specific repos. I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this because these are really old here. I'm gonna add uh, new ones. I kind of wish that I kept them here so I could copy the names, but that's okay. So we'll go here and add some new secrets. So this will be one for the access key. So we'll go back over to here and paste that in. And I need to get the NVARs name. So I think they're, they're showing up on here. So we have the AWS access key here. And this is AWS examples. There we go. So I'll go ahead and add, add that one. Make sure there's no spaces in front of it or behind it. Then I'll go grab my secret, of course. Uh, never share your secret with other folks. I'm sharing it here with you because I know what I'm doing and I'm going to rotate it out so there is not an issue uh, in the future for myself. But we'll go ahead and grab uh, this one here. And while we're here, we might as well go ahead and set up um, the, the region as well. So that was somewhere here. There it is, AWS region. And yes, this is painful, but uh, we gotta do it. So I'm gonna set this as CA central one. And I know that we, in our code, we've overridden it as uh, uh, US east one, so that's totally fine. We'll go here and grab that secret, excellent. And so we have um, these three set on the correct repository. We'll go back over here now. Oh, it says your code space secrets have changed. So it looks like we can reload this environment. So I'm gonna click that reload to apply. And it's now reloading the environment, excellent. So we'll give it a moment here. But um, yeah, code, code spaces is fine. Um, Gitpod is a lot faster. I find the configuration easier to use. I like that uh, it's always restarting your environment so uh, you're having less configuration issues but uh, you know they're both both great tools a lot of times when I'm in use, utilizing Azure we'll use code spaces because of the synergies between Azure and code spaces since um, Microsoft owns both companies but I'm just going to close this tab out here and now we should be in better shape what were we trying to do oh uh, Plumy 
Plumy, de uh, Plumy up or Plumy deploy? I think it's Plumy up, right? And we have to make sure we're in the correct directory as it's moved us somewhere else. Plumy up. There we go. And it says, do you want to perform this update? It says create two. It's going to create the stack. It's also going to create the bucket. I'm not exactly sure what this would show up as a resource in AWS. I assume that's just a resource in Plumy. And we'll say yes. And notice it's saying performing an update. Even though the deploy was not successful, it still has that stack there. And we can go click through into the browser and take a look here. And let's take a look at what we have. So that's interesting. It must be that the um, uh, uh, Plumi must have the agent on the uh, client. So Terraform Cloud allows you to have it either or. You might be able to set it here, but I, I certainly don't know where that is. Um, so I'm not 100% sure. But uh, we can go over here and we can see outputs, configuration. This is what I thought that it was asked, like we'd have to set something in a secrets manager or environment variables or something. But uh, we have our bucket, so there's our bucket. Let's go over to AWS. We can probably click here to, uh, well, let's see what happens if we click into it. I thought it would, this would open in AWS, but it's actually up here. So we click there and it's bringing us to US East one and there is our bucket. So yeah, not too shabby. Uh, so I think that's all good. Let's go ahead and tear this down. I think that's good enough for uh, this example, but uh, they give us the code here. So we'll go ahead and grab that. Let's, this deletes the stack resources. I actually want to delete the whole stack. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to assume that it's going to also tear down uh, everything when we do that. This will permanently delete the dev stack. Uh, please confirm if that's what you'd like to do. We'll type dev. Now the question is, is that going to tear down the resources or is that separate? Make sure that dev the dev stack is the, the one you want to destroy. Um, Dev still has resources. Okay, great. So that answers that. We actually do have to um, tear everything down first. So let's go ahead and do that. It looks like we don't even have to specify, um, uh, at least these commands are suggesting we don't have to specify the stack handle here, but I suppose um, if you have lots of stacks, it's good to have that there. We're gonna go ahead and perform that there, yes. Excellent. And we'll go back over to, um, here and we'll go now tear down the stack and we'll type in the please confirm by typing in the stack name I think it's asking us for and now the stack is removed we'll go back over to Plumy notice I didn't have to enter my credit card or anything in so uh, it's pretty easy I still have this stack laying around so I suppose if I want to get rid of it um, and again this is not an issue that you'll you'll have but it's an issue that I have but I can get rid of this by Typing the test stack here. So I just don't want uh, things lingering around. Yeah, we'll type in dev. Oh, I have to type the full name in here. Omen King test dev. Enter. There we go. We'll go back over to uh, Plumi. We'll make sure those resources are gone. And this is a reminder that if we didn't clean up any kind of uh, buckets before and you see them, of course you can go ahead and delete them. Uh, you don't need to keep buckets around forever here. There's nothing crazy we're doing with these S3 buckets. So I'm going to go back over to here, and um, I believe it's gone. I don't see it in here, so we are in good shape. But uh, yeah, so that is uh, Pulumi. So before we leave, let's make sure we shut down this environment. Uh, I'm going to go to the command pal in the bottom left corner. And for this, I'll type in code spaces, and we'll carefully read to look for there uh, that stops. So this is stop current code space. We'll go ahead and run that. And that's going to shut down that environment. Make sure you shut that down. <laughs> Don't walk away. Make sure it's shut down. If you're not sure if it's running over here, it will usually show up here um, as running environments. But I believe since uh, that is closed, it should not show up anymore. Let's go here. Notice it is still kind of there, but it's not running anymore. That was the new one, the super uh, a duper dollop. Not a huge fan of the name, so that's what it is. But yeah, there's Pulumi. So of course we didn't do a whole lot of coding, but um, it did all the work for us. So that's, that's it. Ciao.